it's always been a kind of a qualm of mine with startups these days is I feel like it's less about revenue and more about um, how much can I raise? No, you, we have to. Yeah. We have to do, we have to ask how much can we raise, which is why I'm so bloody poor is because I keep telling people you can't do it. Yeah. Or the amount you will need will keep me poor because it's a, it, it's an unbelievable amount of money. And yeah. what we spent on no, our agreed. Robot, when I when I state what it would take to develop a robotic system that people are interested in, they're like, it's got to be less than that. Come on. Well, OK, here's the example to do one robot to get it classified to walk through all three zones, zone two, zone one, zone zero. The cost, it took four years, one point two million euros. That's just the certification. It's like one point six million dollars. That, that doesn't include the robot being destroyed in testing. Jeez. It doesn't include the changes. They just broke it. You have to detonate it. You basically take the robot and you take your flame-proof enclosure, fill it full of gas with all of your electronics in, fully functioning. God damn it! You can't even you, pull that stuff out. Nope, nothing comes out. It has to be as is. The only thing they do is drill a hole and tap it for the spark plug. They fill it full of butane or propane, depending on the level of certain cool. And they detonate it. And what they're looking for is any flame exposure through the flame-proof enclosure. And then they'll take it and they'll take a one kilogram target, or I'm sorry, projectile, at one meter, and they will turn your robot and aim this at any part they want and impact it to get an energy release. Wait, a projectile at one meter? One kilogram. Set one meter that's, distance. That's decent weight, okay. So it's dropping from one meter away and it will Got impact it. the robot. So just gravity. They take and rotate the robot around and they yeah. pick places. It's like a reverse drop test. Mm -hmm. 